obviously, like I said just before, you've accomplished heaps, sorry, in this like short amount of time. But I kind of want to know like who you are, where you're from, like just the just the basics, nothing too nothing too hard. Sure. I mean, thank you. Um, so I'm 19 and I'm born and raised in Australia. And then I moved at 16 years old to the UK. I got signed and everything like that. And then I just started really getting into my music. There was a lot of opportunities that came my way. And I feel like I've just been blessed um, yeah. and grateful to God like, that I've been given so much. Um, and I think it's happened really quickly. I mean, even due to like COVID, we've made yeah. it work. And I'm really excited even like to just release this debut EP of mine. I mean, I've been working, I would say like, quite hard at the studio every day and I feel like I don't yeah. do normal stuff that like teenagers do I'm trying to just like really focus on my music and stuff like that but um yeah I just I feel like it's just gone like so quickly at the time but um yeah so that's cool and what was the what was the reason or why how come you relocated from Oz to the UK so I was actually at school at the time and it was four days before like going into the new year and my mum was like, Selena, I think you need to move. Because obviously people were in the UK were like, um, oh, you know, move over here and you know, I've got opportunities for you. And then we're in the middle of like kind of thinking of signing a contract um, with a label yeah. over there. So we were like, you know what, we're going to have to move. So we made that like really hard decision and it was definitely a big sacrifice of mine because I've got like all my family are based in Australia, basically like majority of them. So yeah. like just moving um, to the UK, very different place. Um, but yeah, it definitely worked out for the better. I mean, I've just been blessed with opportunities. Um, so yeah, it was like, it was just crazy. Are you like originally from Australia? Yeah, I'm originally from Australia, but my dad is from India actually. He's from Punjab, oh, yeah. which is like the part of India. And then my mom's Italian. So, yeah. so. That's really you also got your whole TikTok thing going on as well. I I called yeah. that. I was like, what? And and you got quite a quite a few followers on there as well. Well, one point eight million. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then plus your Instagram and stuff like that. Are you was it was that like the plan or were you just kind of making videos and it just kind of caught on? So actually, I started at like it was so new to me. I feel like TikTok about two years ago was so new to everyone, and everyone was trying yeah. to jump on it. And there came a time where lockdown came about and then I was on like 200, 300K. Um, and it was like, you know, a couple of viral videos. It was hard to get viral. And then I kind of found this niche of singing and dancing. And then my like TikTok literally just grew and just blew up. So like yeah. it went like zero to hundred really quick. And um, cause everyone's at home on their phones watching TikTok. So I feel like that was a good time for me to like really focus on like social media and content mm. which I try and do as much as possible um but yeah like even Instagram I've just been doing some covers that I've just really um connected I guess and people have just been like loving it so yeah yeah and you pump out content as well like you keep it you keep it flowing um do you think it helps you um Maybe. yeah I definitely um when you grow on one social uh, media platform you grow on all the others and People probably want to find more. I feel like TikTok really helped my Instagram. Instagram helped TikTok almost. Like it kind of helped each other. Snapchat, I'm actually growing really quick. We're nearly on like 300K. And I was like, Crazy. this time I was on like, I don't even know. I was like not on this much. But I don't know. It just grew really quickly. Yeah. Um, I feel like social media, like in general, just helps out any artist or helps out anyone with their brand, with their music, whatever they're doing. Because it's just the audience you have and yeah so I'm really grateful to have people following me um and just growing I feel like with me as well yeah that's crazy and um with with the don't worry baby with Stan Walker how'd you guys meet up we didn't meet really <laughs> I wish we met oh, yeah. we haven't met live or whatever but um yeah so he sent me the song and obviously like just letting you know I'm a big fan of Stan since I was literally eight years old yeah, um yeah. And oh my gosh, like it was just so big for me. And the and like he was on the phone to me, I remember, and he was like complimenting my voice. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is terrible. But like genuinely, I was crying. I kid you yeah. not. And he wrote it like I'm like 
oh my gosh, Stan, like, I'm a big fan. He's like, oh. I'm like, no, 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 like, Stan, you don't understand. Like, when I was, like, telling my mom about everything, she was like, oh, my gosh, like, this must be, like, it's just a huge thing for me. I mean, I'm just so grateful and blessed to be on the song with him. And especially because it's done so well, like, I'm just like, wow, it's crazy. I mean, he's just an amazing artist. He's so down to earth and, like, yeah. he's just so talented. And it's just like so big for me to like actually like be on a song with Sam Walker, you know what I mean? Especially when you've looked up to someone since you were like young, younger, you know what I mean? So I get it, I get it. Yeah. Amazing. He's, he's <laughs> yeah. actually my cousin. No, what? he's not my cousin. Oh my he's gosh. not my cousin. I was um, like, oh my gosh, actually, that was like, <laughs> so, like Sam Walker's cousin right now. <laughs> Every Maldi says that Sam Walker's their cousin. Yeah, I mean, like, you could probably get away with it, right? <laughs> <laughs> Um, so you've done a, you've done a collab with him. Is there any other New Zealand artists that you want to collab with? I mean, of course. Um, I know Beanie's from uh, New Zealand, yes. right? Yes. And um, and I feel like she would be so dope to like collab with. She really um has that really cute like cool quirky thing about her, and I feel like it'd be interesting to like collab with her. Um, I love everything like her music. And everything like that, but um, but yeah, I'll probably say Beanie. Like, would be really Wait, that's cool. That's cool. I have a yeah. mate. His name's um Jackson Owens. He's from where um, our two fighter tour. He's from our Iwi really? or our tribe. Bro, you need to check him out. He's kind of he's popping off at the moment as well. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. I feel like also I really want to learn more about the New Zealand like culture. I mean, like the Maori culture and everything out there. Like, I didn't cool. even know like the when I when Sam was speaking the language, I was like oh my gosh, this is like crazy. It's like so different. Yeah. And I like, that, it's just beautiful, like to learn about, you know, different about like how the culture is out there. In the UK, people are like, oh my gosh, you're from New Zealand. I'm like, um, excuse me, like, do, do I sound like yeah, I'm from yeah, New Zealand? Yeah, yeah, no, I get it. But, yeah, like people need to realise there's so much to learn about New Zealand. And the culture is so beautiful out there. The people, they're like one of the nicest, I would say. The accents, mm. everything. But, um, yeah, so mm. I'm sorry if I didn't say it right as well. I feel like my Aussie accent, like, you say it so well, Maori, like, I don't Maori, know. It's like, yeah, Maori. Maori, Maori. Yeah, I don't good. know if it's, yeah. it's fine. <laughs> so, Wait, at like, least you're yeah. trying. That's what we like to see. Yeah. I got a few quick fire questions. Um, uh, Favourite artist, dead or alive? I have two, but it's really hard. Oh, pick them two. Both them. You're good. Is there two? Yeah. Okay. I would say Whitney Houston and Aretha Franklin. They're both dead, but like, oh. gee, like, come on, let's just say, like, okay. they're the legend. Yeah. Yeah, true that, true that. I like Whitney as well. Um, how many instruments can you play? Okay, so I've been playing piano since I was young. Um, guitar, I'm like, I would say I can play it. I'm not like yeah. very, like, oh my gosh, I can like play, but like, it's, yeah. it's like I, I can play it. Um, I used to play the trumpet. Um, so know a little bit of that. Trumpet. Drum. Yeah, yeah. It's a bit weird. Drums I can play. I used to play it at school. Um, that's it. And I would say the voice, that, that kind of counts as an instrument. But um yeah. yeah. What's your most un unforgettable recording session? Oof, that's a or just really one that stands out. That's such a good one, you know. Okay, I have a very okay. It wasn't recording my own song, but I was doing a cover. It still it yeah. still counts. And I was doing "Fast Car" by Tracy Chapman. Uh, Chapman, Chapman, yeah. yeah. And basically, like, I was in the recording studio, and my producer was just like, my engineer was just like playing it, whatever. And he's like, really getting your feels. I was like, okay, this song, by the way, takes me right back to Australia. And I was in the UK, and I was just like so emotional I started bawling my eyes out it was so embarrassing and I yeah. was like proper bawling my eyes out I was like oh my gosh like I missed Australia and I really got my feels I was like that's one like unforgettable experience because I I I feel like you never appreciate home until a certain point and I was always like I want to get out of Australia obviously because like music and just like but then yeah. it really hit me like wherever you come from you know it just sticks with you and it just all these memories flutter back so i'll say that 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 time was oh, very and now you're doing this thing on um eternal which is working with marvel oh, and yep. i love marvel that that whole cinematic I, universe is my that's my jam 
I'm glad. I'm glad we're on the same level here. <laughs> uh, what's the go with that? Can, can, so, you say, but, can you say a lot about it? I mean, you know what? It is coming out in a month. So I will give you a little bit of an insight. So I, I'm singing like one of the songs in the in the movie and it's like quite different and interesting because it's actually like Bollywood kind of meets Hollywood in, in one of the scenes. And yeah. I'm actually singing a little bit of Hindi which is like India's like national, it's like the main language of India. So um, yeah, it's quite different to like what Marvel's done before. It's never really been done. So it's quite, I'm like really honored to be a part of this. So it's a lot of energy apparently in the scene, a lot of dances. It's just like a huge scene. Um, and yeah, so that's all I can really say. I mean, you need to watch the trailer trailer, and then you need to watch it at the cinemas November 5th oh, yeah. you need to watch it. And then you have your EP you drop in on the 8th, is it? That is the 8th, And I know, I know you've been working on that for a while now. Well, mm-hmm. what's, the, what's the feels around that? Do you know what? This is all like beginning, like intro, it's a kind of introduction to me. And I feel like this is why I kind of called it CC Because it's like my nickname almost. And I was like, you know yeah. what, I'm, I'm going to plain and simple but it actually means a lot it's like Cece's are kind of like an alter ego of mine as well like I people say it they're like Selena and it's just like you know what I mean yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so this is like obviously like I'm very young right now and I haven't experienced all I can like compared to like someone that's like 50 years old I'm just saying so it's like all of these EPs are going to have a story to them and you just see me grow up and like experience things i mean i haven't really been heartbroken yet so like when that happens it will be yeah. a freaking fine for the ev so this is more yeah, like, like to everyone else like in the i feel like it's a very relatable um it's very different vibes each song so that's why i like it it's like yeah. whatever you're in the mood for just out of those very four different. songs you can choose one but yeah i'm super excited about this it's the first project of mine um that anyone's kind of like seen so yeah i'm excited it's winter up there now way eh? it's summer here so we're like all waiting for the summer festivals to begin concerts uh, well, i mean i'm going to la so it's not really summer there isn't it i just realized that but um good news is i might be coming to australia australia and um hopefully new zealand very soon because they've opened up the bur- uh, the borders for like vaccinated people like australian yeah. citizens and home quarantines I was like oh my gosh literally I need to get back home and just get back to like you know when your soul's like kind of like restored and you just feel yeah I know what you mean at home yeah 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 it's like everything about it um going back home yeah reconnect that's the word um but yeah so hopefully I'll be coming out there soon and I'm really excited about it um so yeah yeah you definitely need to come down um New Zealand as well I'm sure everyone will Love to have you down here. Yeah, you got to come show us really some love, I guess. Yeah, I want to learn about more about the culture and everything as well, like when I'm out there. Yeah, especially so especially doing a um, cover with Stan. Uh, you know how, I mean, even in Australia, how we view Stan in the music industry. Um, you jumped on a song. Now everyone kind of wants to, I guess, wants to know who you are. Yeah, and I was just like, this is crazy. I mean, his fan base is just like family, I feel like, and they've just grown yeah. with him since since he was young. I mean, oh, and he's just, everything he releases is just amazing and it comes from the heart. So really just privileged to be on a song with him. <laughs> that's cool. Um, well, that's it. I mean, thanks Thank for taking you. the time out, eh? To join us, no have worries. a chat. And congratulations on, I mean, what you've done and then good luck and what, what it, you know, the future. And then with your EP and all of that. Thank you for having me. It was great to be here. So thank you so much.